how can we get people inspired to have the same valuable experience as Pokemon Go? So this company iDance produced the Blaster Arc 2 Game Gear. There's a lot of names on the package itself. It's uh, this thing. It looks like a Dreamcast Blaster. When you look at the package, it says a lot of things uh, distributed from China to the UK to Europe. And eventually it came into my hands through a local drugstore, which was selling it for 20 US dollars, but priced it down to $2 in my favor. So what is this hardware we're talking about? It's called an air blaster and it functions with your smartphone you just put on top of your smartphone and it functions with android or ios and it has bluetooth connectivity when you squeeze the trigger it's supposed to uh, fire some missiles or bullets whatever so taking a quick look at the package it says it has 20 games and most of these games are need to be downloaded from the uh, app stores and i can tell you these games are all the same. This will not be a true AR experience. So let's open it. Inside the package, you'll find nothing more than the gun, a piece of plastic, and instruction manual. That's it. So what do we do with the piece of plastic? Well, you can use it for many efficient ways. You can use it to store your candy, or you can use it to mix up with mayonnaise and Mexican pepper sauce, stir that shit up with a french fry and eat it. Uh, about the gun, it's a lightweight plastic piece of crap. The trigger is kind of squishy. It fits perfectly in a grown-up hand. It has a QR code at the back of the palm rest. It takes two AAA batteries. Open up the lid, pop in those anna loops, and you're good to go. At least that's what I thought was going to happen. So here's what happened. I was syncing up in my settings on Bluetooth and Android, and it shows the AR gun, but it doesn't sync up. After 10 minutes, I read the instruction manual, and I came to the conclusion that you need to download the AR app. It won't sync up without the app. I think the reason is that these guys didn't want you to sync up this Bluetooth gun with Windows or another Bluetooth device. So download the app, it's 314 megabytes. Open the app and you'll get a menu screen. What I like the most about the menu screen is the music. Just, just listen to it. This is just so soothing, which isn't in line with the rest of the games, I tell you that. If you bought this device for your child who is like five years old, bring it back. All of these games are extremely violent. From these 20 games, only two games aren't violent. The rest of the games are zombie games or military games which have a lot of violence in it, blood, gore, weaponry. It's something you don't want to give to your child. All of these games are cheaply produced. This isn't AR. What you get is just an app using the back camera as a backdrop for showing you a lot of 3D models that don't hold up to current standards. There's nothing AR here because when you move around the room, you'll just see a layover of 3D models floating into your room. Real AR makes use of the environment. If you see a cabinet, you could see a character on top of a cabinet and it stays there even when you move the camera around and that's the other half of hinge ar quality games the other half are just 3d shooters which make use of the vibration motor or the tilt function of your smartphone and there you have it we're back in 1995 with these graphics i have a very current smartphone uway p20 and all these games suffer lag or a badly coded 3D engine. Games stuttered, games don't function. One of the games just stuttered with the back camera as the backdrop and it didn't load anything. Some of the games require an active internet connection as some of them are multiplayer. So be prepared. This app sucks a lot of your mobile data if you're not connected to a Wi-Fi point. The tilt function inside the apps are very, very horrible. Uh, when I try to move around the uh, blaster gun to the left or to the right, it tilted so far that the screen just went vertical and I, it couldn't function anymore. And I've tried most of them with the point of being tried. Some of these apps don't even open. You can click on it, they just debug out. 
and some of the other games just didn't want to connect to the blaster itself. So what you get on the software side is that most of these games aren't very well produced for the app. They are of low quality, most of them are in Chinese, even the menus. There is an option to download child-friendly games inside the store. But in my opinion, these are just the same crappy AR games that you saw in the rest of the video. Just a backdrop with 3D models floating around inside your room. So conclusion, is the Blaster ARG2 from iDance, Game Gear, whatever it's called, worth your money? Well, take a good guess. If it somehow could be modded for other Bluetooth purposes, it would be very funny. But for $2 even, this is one of the worst products that I've reviewed in a long time. Optiefer! Shut the fuck up! And eventually it came to the get f that off, man. F it. So what you need to do, I was thinking up for almost 10 minutes. Jesus Christ.